Hello everyone and welcome to the Autocar Performance Show 2018. Now, as a motoring journalist, I do admit I do get to see the odd nice car and bike every once in a while. But as a petrol head, as a car enthusiast, I know that there's nothing better than seeing them all in one place under one roof. And since we're at Mumbai's biggest motor show, I thought I'd put away my employee organizer badge and just go in as a petrol head to take in the sights and the sounds. And I am going to take you along for the ride. There's simply so much to see at this year's event. It's simply too much to cover in one video comprehensively. So what I'm going to do instead is share with you my highlights of APS 2018. And I do apologize for the shouting, but it's quite loud in here. Now I'm afraid there's a bit of a roadblock right as soon as you get in through the gates of APS 2018, as you can probably tell right here. And that's because the very first attraction is a full-on supercar. That's right, it's a bright yellow Lamborghini Huracan, but it's only the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to show you, so let's keep moving. Not far away, just across the aisle, was another very hot, very yellow piece of Italian Exotica. Okay, now here's something we don't see very often. It's the exclusive sporty luxury brand Maserati. I will admit, they are few and far between, but you can come and have a look at them here at the Autocar Performance Show. This particular one, in my opinion, still one of the best looking cars on sale right now, the Gran Turismo, looking fabulous in yellow. And if that's not your style, there is, of course, the bigger Levante SUV and a little baby Gran Turismo for the kids. Now, the next car, especially in its grey colour, could have easily been missed. But once I spotted it, I was suddenly transformed into a gurgling child. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This, everybody, is a BMW M2 competition. This is the car I've been itching to drive for the longest time. For those not in the know, and I suspect there are very few of you that aren't in the know, this is basically a shrunken down M3. I cannot, cannot wait to get my hands on it, but quite frankly, it's really amazing just to even see it in the flesh. And what's the M division without its rival from a falter back? AMG. Now, three of the most powerful and loudest letters in the automotive lexicon are AMG. They've really made a noise and a name for themselves over the last few decades. It is, of course, Mercedes performance arm, and they are out in full force at the APS 2018. They are represented here today by the mighty AMG G63, the rather stylish AMG GLE 43. But my favorite is the E63S right here. And now, a quick detour from the high-octane, twin-turbo world of high performance and over to the sensible side. Now, it may be called the Autocar Performance Show, but clearly we have more than just performance cars here. Like this, the brand new Maruti Ertiga, which is creating quite a lot of buzz. And that's the beauty of the APS. You can come and check out cars for yourself, especially something like this, and decide if it's your next purchase. Keeping things down to earth, it was time to head over to the Nissan stand. That's right, the Japanese car maker had brought its new Kicks SUV to APS 2018 and it hadn't even been launched at the time. A lot of customers would have been seeing this car for the very first time and we heard that they were quite impressed by the styling and the vast equipment list. And now for something a little bit wilder. Now here's something truly exotic, especially if you're into motorsport. It's the new Mahindra M5 Electro. It's their entry into the latest season of Formula E. It is wonderfully nerdy in the way it balances aerodynamics, aggression, and of course, the tricolor on the wheels. Now here's a brand we're quite excited to see entering the market in 2019, MG. Now, most of us know Morris Garages or MG, for their past, cars like this beautiful MGB that's on display here. But what MG wants to show you is its future, like this new EMG6. 
Now MG is going to come in with a big bang in 2019 and maybe not with this car as its first car but there will be a whole range of exciting cars to look forward to and they want to show you what they've got in store and see what you think about it. Another brand that's going to be making its Indian debut in 2019 is Kia from South Korea. It's being positioned as a premium brand that will sit slightly above the likes of Maruti and Hyundai and will launch with a mid-size SUV. However, at APS 2018, they showed two of their existing products, both of which are rather interesting. The Sportage family crossover, which looks rather cool, and the one I'm particularly keen on, the Stinger Sport Sedan. It's a rear-wheel drive sedan with a 365 horsepower turbocharged V6. Audi S5, AMG C43, you have been put on notice. Now, I'm not much of a bike guy myself, but even I'm pretty impressed by the blanket of brands that falls under the Motor Royale Kinetic Umbrella. It starts with Norton, it's also Hyosung, it's SWM, MV Agusta, and this rather quirky looking FB Mondial HPS 300. Then there was the Autocar India stand itself where Standing Guard at the front was one of the most talked about motorcycles of 2018, the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. And it was soon joined by the other most talked about motorcycles of 2018, the Java and Java 42, which made their Mumbai debut to the public at APS 2018. Now this year for the supercar gallery, the good folk at Throttle 97 have not disappointed. There's a little bit of something for everyone. It starts with a British Grand Tourer, the Aston DB11. A lovely JDM classic, the 300ZX, American old-school muscle, a Plymouth Barracuda, and American new-school muscle, the Ford Mustang GT. And of course, to cap it all off, you have a bit of pure supercar goodness, the Audi R8 V10 Plus. In fact, the members of the Throttle 97 crew even had a very special get-together on the last day of the show. A huge collection of performance cars parked up for breakfast Sunday morning and then drove up to APS in a loud, incredible looking convoy. When they pulled into the parking lot, of course it instantly drew a crowd of enthusiasts and the owners were more than happy to oblige. What's more, several classic car owners also turned up with their pristine motor cars which also drew more than a few eyes. They all joined the scores of petrol heads visiting the show that day and of course the Throttle 97 crew stopped by for a photo op at the Supercar Gallery. Not to be outdone by the high power four-wheelers, the Superbike Gallery had some stars of its own, including a Kawasaki H2 and a very rare Indian Roadmaster Elite. Next up, however, it was time for something a bit special. What I'm going to do now is go for a quick drive with a friend of mine. Now this is Selvin and if you recognize him and you know him like I do, you'll know that he is a certifiable madman. And now we might be facing the right way now, but in a moment... I can see nothing but sky at this point. And that's what they want here at the Mahindra off-road course. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Just make sure you haven't just eaten breakfast when you do this. Because it'll really rattle you apart. The good thing about off-roading in something like a Mahindra Thar is if you hear a big clunk, it's probably that you're doing the right thing. <laughs> and while I was outside, a loud noise, louder than the rest of the show at any rate, drew me to a stand just adjacent to the ticket counter. Race Dynamics had brought a two-wheeler dynamometer to the show and superbike owners flocked to it to see just how much performance their bikes really had. Must remember to pack some earplugs for next time. Well, if I'm being perfectly honest, that is more of a workout than I've had in a very long time. Riding up and down these motor show halls and taking in all the sights and all the sounds. But it's more than just me gawking at a bunch of really hot metal, which I did, don't get me wrong. It's also just so great to be under the same roof as so many like-minded people, so many petrol heads. I've had some great conversations with people today, just chatting about numbers, equipment, spec, which car you'd rather have, even if only as a poster on your bedroom wall. It's been great. In fact, I've had so much fun at the Autocar Performance Show 2018. 
and I hope you have as well.